Oh man. This is nasty. Yeah. I'm glad we got gloves. No kidding. <coughs> oh man. Sometimes you gotta get uh, creative with the tools of the trade. Oh man. You gotta start somewhere. Good, look at that, dude. Good God. Uh, big dust pan, I guess. Yeah, let me get a big dust pan. We also went out and I finally bought something that I've needed for a while. It may not be the good craftsman, but it's a shop back and my last one I let the smoke out of it. Let me go find a dustpan. Should I wear my nice clothes? I think you should. That's what I did. Oh, like a nice new pair of expensive shoes. Yep. Oh man. It's, just, it's coming off. There's no it's not it. It off it. No. Oh man, God, that snow's bad. Yeah. Oh my God. You think we can save this? Yeah, man. I think we just put some conditioner on it. Yeah. Some back to back. Well, I think I'm going to go take the seats out. I think that was the easy part. I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> I think that was a... Uh... Oh, there's a dirt dauber nest right there. Is there? Yeah. Looks like there's a stillborn. So as far as I can see, uh, I'm gonna try to take these seats out, and I know that there's a bolt here and a bolt here. And I'm gonna guess there's the same on the, other side. on the other side. Yeah, and that'll let us get the seat out of it. Let me see. Hey, that's a good noise. Oop, there's one nut. We need to. Oh man, this is gross. This is so gross. I'm gonna go put these nuts somewhere, I won't lose them. And then I'll look at the other side. I bet there's two as well. Alright, the other two bolts are right here and right here. I didn't hit them with PV. Let's see how bad they are. Nope, not bad. Thank God. A lot of, uh, I think I see. Why the uh, seat lost some of its integrity. Yeah, why is that? Well, is it that pile of rust? Probably. <laughs> These are cool buckets too. It'd be nice to find a way to fix them, but we gotta get them out to look at them. Yeah. If not, I wonder if a newer Ram Charger seat will fit in it, if we yeah. can find some. And there's some ants. Who knows what kind of critters have been in this thing, dude. Oh, that seat's not good at all. No, that's, uh, that seat is melted back into the earth, or is trying to. It's trying to. Teddy the tetanus. Teddy the tetanus. Teddy the tetanus ram charger. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the back of it's all rusted up. Hmm. That's all those dirt dauber nests. Mmm. <laughs>
Mm. Yeah, that that would be why uh, it lost integrity. It's like the frame or rail. Or yeah, I don't know how to get this out. I was trying to see. If there, oh, yeah, there's a carriage bolt, so we'll probably get a good bottom. underneath it and get it out. This one is actually okay. I think it can be cleaned up and at least this mount yeah. can be okay. Wire mm. wheel it, CLR it, mm -hmm. paint it. Let me get the other seat out. Yeah. Well, that's the asbestos. Good thing we found the build sheet. I just put it up so we can try to clean it. And we uh, and we found the glove box. <laughs> Here's the glove box, Greg. Dude, man, we should have tried to keep it. It's it's, it's all original. All. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, there's that. So far, actually so good. The pans are definitely bad, but they make that front piece, and this stuff's actually okay. If that's the case, we might have lucked out. Oh man. It's nasty. Yeah, it's like, that's where it like pulled and settled. Yeah, you can see it's still wet. Almost kind of okay, except in the corners. <coughs> oh man! I'm glad we got gloves. No kidding. We bought these generic gloves too, for pretty cheap. Comes with a pack like, of them. It was like ten bucks for like eight, eight pairs. Yeah. Most of this is bad. But this unbolts, so that's cool. The center? Yeah. yeah. It's like there's looks like it got a little bit here maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, let me go get a baggie, or at least pull those bolts out and we'll fire up the shop back. All right, we're gonna take this back seat out. This right here is one bolt. And then there's one in the back as well. This is 11 sixteenths. And the one in the back, I think, also holds the seat belt. But it's the same thing on each side. We'll pull that out real quick. Man, so much mud in here. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now we got two in the back. Mm. One here. Yay. I'm not going to miss you. Again, exposed threads. Gotta be. Come back on. Oh. For a hundred bucks, that's badass. No, they're good. Alright. Hell yeah, it has. What is going on? There's like a ribbon that's hanging onto the can we just Flash. unbolt it? Yeah, maybe. Like unbolt it from the floor? Yeah. What do you need? The same stuff I had. I just wish I had a... Uh, yeah. Impact. 
Like, I can handle oil, grease, and all that shit. It's this stuff that's just broke. It's nasty. What we're having to do is unbolt the seat belts because they are entangled into the frame of the seat. So, Greg's doing that one. I did the other one a second ago. We're getting there. Seat's almost out. And it's about to rain. I remember these. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's one of those changeable color yeah, <laughs> pins. Probably bolts to the here or it bolted back back there, yeah. One yeah. Okay. All right, let me show you what we're working with. Very, very, very solid back in here. Greg's about to fire up the pressure washer. The front four plans are bad. But the rest of it's really solid. So that's good because they sell these pieces. So we're getting on to something. See if you don't get started. Well, Greg made a good point. Take some elbow grease, just cleaning this thing out, but now we know what we're working with, right? We know that the front four boards are bad. We know that this is pretty integral and I can rust treat a lot of this. I, obviously it's not gonna fix these holes here and there but uh you know that part's pretty solid let me show you all the other side so again floorboard's bad right you got some pretty major big holes and uh this is the transmission hump which is a little bad on this side so i'm gonna buy the panels not sure how we're gonna replace them yet i don't know if i'm gonna Cut it out, put them in place, and panel bond them, which is kind of the 
no weld way to do it or if I'm going to have my buddy Tommy help me put panels in this thing. Um, but yeah, front floorboard is bad. Really solid kind of from here back, right? Yeah. Obviously, we've got some rust along the top on the windshield thing but it, it definitely could be worse and this whole top comes off and we're gonna eventually do that but it looks really heavy and there's only two of us because that's metal that's not fiberglass and big old heavy windows that's gonna be a three-person job so right so the next thing we're gonna do is try to get it running we get it running we get and get it moving get it to the backyard i don't think the brakes work well there's a lot of st stuff right to just just do on it but we know what we're working with um and that's sometimes that's half the battle this thing was disgusting and the only thing that we've worked on that was more dirty than this was the boat and uh this is up there though. <laughs> also, number definitely number two. Another thing is we figured out, um, you know, the shifter's working. So that's one, two, three, and then all the way back and up is reverse. So one, two, three, reverse. Yeah, so it works pretty good. I was really, really worried about that. And in fact, I already posted on a online forum asking where the bushings were and or if you could find bushings for it. And uh, you can't, but you can make some work. So I think that's where we're going to end y'all off on this one. Uh, we've got a lot of cleanup to do. Lots and lots of cleanup. So if you like this project, Ram Chargers are your thing. Subscribe. We're going to do a lot of more of these kind of projects uh, down the road and also do some more race weeks and I don't know if you're new to this check out some of our old videos and uh, get an idea of what we're doing so until next time you know the deal y'all be good. <laughs>